Astronomers have observed a distant planet where it probably rains iron. It sounds like a science fiction movie, but this is the nature of some of the extreme worlds that are being discovered. On one distant world, heavy metal could be a weather forecast. Telescope observations indicate that an exoplanet nearly 400 light years away has iron rain. WASP 76b, as it's known, orbits so close into its host star, its dayside temperatures exceed 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize metals. Its unusual name comes from the UK-led WASP telescope system that detected the world four years ago. The planet is an extreme kind of exoplanet known as an ultra-hot gas giant. These worlds are complete oddballs, says astronomer David Ehrenreich of the University of Geneva. The iron rain would be extremely dense and pack a pretty good punch, according to the research team. They said it's like in the heavy steel industry on Earth where they melt iron, and so you see this melting, flowing metal. Until now, no one has gotten a close enough look at an ultra-hot gas giant to see how such stark temperature contrasts affect atmospheric chemistry across the planet. WASP-76b is nearly twice the size of Jupiter, the largest in our solar system, yet takes less than two days to orbit its star. This hemisphere must be so hot that all clouds are dispersed, and all molecules in the atmosphere are broken apart into individual atoms. The extreme temperature difference this produces between the lit and unlit portions of the planet will be driving ferocious winds, up to 18,000 km per hour. What we surmise is that the iron is condensing on the night side, which, although still hot at 1,400 degrees Celsius, it's cold enough that iron can condense as clouds, as rain, possibly as droplets. These could then fall into the deeper layers of the atmosphere which we can't access by our instrument, says Dr. Ehrenreich's team. The team used the very large telescope in Chile to examine starlight filtering through WASP-76b's atmosphere as the exoplanet passed in front of its sun during two orbits. Those observations revealed the chemical components of different regions of the atmosphere. Another of the planet's interesting features is that it always presents the same face to the star, a behavior scientists call being tidally locked. So it's always daytime on the star-facing side, with clear skies. And it's always nighttime on the night side, where temperatures fall to about 2,700 degrees. Earth's moon does exactly the same thing, we only ever see one side. They get blasted with so much radiation from their suns that their dayside temperatures rival some stars. Surprisingly, however, we do not see the iron vapor in the morning, as night transitions back into day, Dr. Ehrenreich explained. While vaporized iron previously has been detected at an even hotter, more distant Jupiter-like world, it's believed to remain in a gaseous state around that entire planet. One of the scientists on the Discovery team, Professor Don Polacco from Warwick University, said it was hard to envisage such exotic worlds. This thing orbits so close to its star. It's essentially dancing in the outer atmosphere of that star and being subjected to all kinds of physics that, to put it bluntly, we don't really understand. It will either end up in the star or the radiation field from the star will blow away the planet's atmosphere to leave just a hot, rocky core. Professor Polacco added. Often with these discoveries, we see detailed 3D compositions where it's difficult for people to tell whether it's a real picture or just a computer-generated image. By putting some fun into it, we're not fooling anyone, the astronomers said. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. Please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video.